Do you have a great vision or very big plans? Sometimes it's better to keep quiet and not tell people everything you have in mind. Don't tell them all that you've planned. Many people were to be great, went ahead and told people about all the things they had planned. And many times their friends and families hated them for it. They could despise you and discourage you. Joseph was a perfect example of someone to who this happened. Joseph kept telling his family what he dreamt about and this caused him to end up being sold to a foreign land. Are you like Joseph? Do you always babble to your families about what you're doing at the moment? It's one thing to talk and confide in people. It's another thing to keep telling them every detail of your life, even when it's obvious that they don't want the best for your life, like Joseph's brothers. Be wise and keep quiet. People many times can click your blessings, so please keep quiet and avoid them. While planning something great and waiting to receive the results and blessings from God, your families or friends may be serving as hindrances to receiving God's blessings and plans for your life. They may be preventing you from achieving your heart's desires in life. They may be actively devising plans to block your progress. Remember Joseph's story once again. You must stop letting them deprive you of God's blessings and favors. Please keep quiet sometimes and avoid them instead of always telling them your plans. They could stop you from carrying out God's plan for your life. If there are people in your life that prevent you from achieving God's plan for your life, then you must stop allowing them to do this. You must take steps to make sure that they won't hinder God's blessing in your life. If your family and friends are consistently able to move you away from God's purpose or plan in life, then they would hinder you from receiving God's blessings. Carrying out God's purpose for your life is one way of achieving great success and receiving blessings from God. If your family and friends discourage you from carrying out God's purpose for you, then they are on the path of pushing you away from God's plans and purposes for you. They may do this by pushing you and stopping you from preaching, singing in church, soul winning, or other things that God has put in your heart. They may prevent you from using your skills to achieve anything useful in your life. People generally can lead you into error, so be careful of telling them what you plan about your life. Whenever you've come across a very great idea, it's not every time that you go ahead to share it around. When you share it with your people, they may get jealous of you, and like Joseph's family, they may plan your downfall. If your friends and families always advise you wrongly and they keep letting you make the wrong decisions after you seek their advice over your several plans or aspirations, it may be their way of blocking your path. If they're intentionally doing this, it's obvious that they don't want the best for you, and you should wake up and realize that their wrong advice is only leading to negative results in your life and would block you from getting the blessings that God designed for you. Wake up, check yourself. If you know that each time you're getting their advice, you always end up losing something or doing things wrong, then it's best you stop confiding in them. It's hard to know who stands firm at your side and is ready to encourage you and support you. Some people exist around you who are only there to steal your ideas or boycott your plans. Your friends and families may even be causing you not to fulfill your life's purpose by causing you to reduce or stop doing that very thing you've told them that you want to do. You must be smart and vigilant to detect this very soon because they would do it in the most subtle ways. It wouldn't be a gradual stopping, of course. They most likely won't call you and tell you to stop doing this or that. What they would rather do is distract you from your commitment to your plans or activities and training for the dreams you've been telling them about. They may compel you to do or them at times you ought to be attending training or meetings and they may lure you into spending time outside on the activities you ought to be doing. If you follow their plans and thoughts, then you would be put on a path of destruction because soon enough, they would pull you away from those activities totally and all your plans for accomplishing something great would come to nothing. Be smart and vigilant. 
Remember that the devil, your adversary, goes about like a roaring lion, searching for whom to devour. People generally can serve to fulfill the devil's purpose and plan for your life. Their action of separating you from your dreams may be what is blocking your blessings. Because of course, when you're far from taking steps towards your dreams, you cannot achieve them. You must not follow their plans or activities. Make sure you hold on strong to your dream and don't let them stop you from achieving your purpose in life. Don't allow them to successfully come between you and your plans in life. If they can do this, then they would block you from getting your heart's desires and aspirations in life. People many times are the causes of blockades to getting your blessings and achieving your plan so it can be better for you to just keep quiet and avoid telling them all that you're doing. Your family's and friends' attitudes can prevent you from achieving your life's purpose. For example, if your people don't believe in you or your dreams, they could keep talking down on you and your dreams. And the more they talk down on it, the more they speak more disbelief and negativity into you. The more they say this, the more your heart gets conditioned to disbelieve. And when you keep hearing it, you may also begin to doubt your plans and ability to achieve your dreams in life. This could hinder you from chasing your dreams because you lack faith in yourself. And a lack of faith means a lack of result. If they've so talked to you and impacted you greatly to a point of disbelief and doubts about your capabilities, then they've succeeded in their mission of breaking you up from your dreams. Stop letting them break up God's purpose and plans for your life. If you have tried many precautions and it's not working, you may need to move away from them. It's better to avoid them and go ahead to build godly friends and relationships. Be with people who can help you build a much better life and stop letting people block God's blessings for you. Move closer to godly people who can help you move closer to God. Remember that if you're away from God, it'll be harder to achieve His plans. This is because you would be less sensitive to His leadings and His instructions. And when you can't hear from Him, you would lose direction and not be able to receive from Him. Move away from these people and let's stop letting them block God's blessings for you. You can move closer to people in your local church so that you can have a support system that wouldn't stop or break up God's blessings for your life. You don't have to cut away totally from your family, friends, or whoever is blocking your path. Rather, you can just keep a distance, define the relationship, and determine what you will take from them and what you will not take from them. You can try to know if you can accept advice or follow a model example from them. After this, spend time with the friends that would keep you with God. You must do all you can to still maintain a good relationship with your family and friends while ensuring that they don't draw you away from God or cause you to lose your blessings from God. Your family may even break you apart from God's plans and purposes for your life by causing you to reduce or stop your fellowship and service to God. You must be smart and vigilant to detect this very soon because they would do it in the most subtle ways. It wouldn't be a gradual stopping, of course. They most likely won't call you and tell you, stop serving God. What they would rather do is distract you from your service or fellowship to God. They may compel you to do it for them at the times you ought to be attending a church service or meeting. They may lure you into spending time outside of church and fellowship with God. If you follow their plans and thoughts, then you would be on a path of destruction. Because soon enough, you would be away from God totally and all His plans for accomplishing His great purposes. It's best to confide in God rather than man. However, if you must confide in man, then you must pray about it. Ensure that you aren't confining in people who are working against you and your plans. These people are to be avoided. If the people around you are blocking your path, then stop telling them everything about your plans.